Okay, folks, we're back right quick for a quick preview on that scratch we were working on. I tried to compound it, it didn't have much of an effect at all, which I suspected it wouldn't. So I got out a little 3000 grit wet dry sandpaper, worked it a little bit that away, then went back with the compound again, then with the HD all in one, then with a final polish, changing pads each time. And if you look real close, you can see the scratch is still there. It's still visible, but to me, it has been reduced significantly and is not nearly as obvious as it was before. Having a hard time getting the light just right. But it's still there in the real world. And then you, get a second call after you can that. still like, see it. it. The there it is. You can the see it, but it, it reduced a lot, particularly the on the ends. It was kind of a Absolutely. long scratch, it's if you zero. recall, the but it was deeper in one on section phone. than it was no, at this end, which is typical. A scratch, a lot, most of the time, will be deeper in some spots than the other. So a lot of times you can make the ends of the scratch go away, but the deep part you can't. So I think it looks a lot better than it did. And, you know, that's just the way it goes when you're doing a high-level detail like this. Sometimes you have to stop with the method and the pads and the buffer and etc that you're using when you run across something like this and you have to stop and focus on that for a few minutes and try to improve it dramatically there's a few more down the side here there's some right there i don't know if you can see it but the rest of these will pretty much all go away there's not many that were as deep as that one and i suspect <laughs> that part of the reason that there are scratches like that on this truck is because of that decal right there off-road I think somebody at some time probably used it for that so anyway I'm gonna go get me a bite to eat for lunch and I'll catch y'all later